power to the people. That is what South African President Cyril Ramaphosa promised in his last State of the Nation address amid the country's worst power cuts ever. But residents of a community in Free State Province say that was an empty promise after a High Court in April ruled against the town's use of an independent solar energy company to reduce power interruptions. The court said the town of Frankfurt, in contracting with the company, had failed to follow a number of technical and legal regulations. Now, residents and business owners will face renewed extended outages, or portions of the solar farms they were using will be shut down. We are very disappointed about the judgment. Uh, we, th we, th we still believe it's, it's really unfair. The, the interest of the community was not considered. We need sustainable uh, uh, electricity, energy for our entire region uh, at an affordable price for everyone out there. The court ruling means that rural maintenance, the independent power producer, won't be able to enforce its own schedule of load shedding the process by which power companies implement blackouts to ease the strain on their facilities. Rural maintenance, using its solar farm, had reduced the power outages in Frankfurt from four hours per day to only one and a half. Local business owners, like Malara Tumotsuneng, say the longer outages are devastating to small businesses in an area where unemployment is higher than the national average. Remember when there's load shedding, there's no signal. Remember when there's... It's like you're incompetent, basically and you cannot run a business without a phone, you cannot run a business without internet. So that is the impact that we are really feeling now. And we cannot work in isolation as a business. The CEO of Rural Maintenance, Chris Bosch, said the court ruling not only raised questions of regulations and laws, but highlighted a bigger problem. I think what has sparked the outrage in South Africa is that people now realize that even if we have the money to put our own generation plant on the grid, then uh, we won't, still won't be able to use the electricity uh, of that. Uh, we still have to reduce even further. In a statement, Eskom said it welcomed the ruling, adding that it encouraged independent power producers to help alleviate the effects of load shedding in South Africa if they complied with regulations. Jan Bormann for VOA News, Frankfurt, South Africa.